All right, made it to Colorado, my favorite stream, and uh, hiked in a little bit. So now I just need to slide on down. Beautiful stream. Beautiful water. Good flow. All right, we made it down. Came down that. So, water looks absolutely perfect. Heard a lot of uh, the waters in this part of Colorado were a little bit high still. Um, that might be a little bit high, but color's good and the flow is right. So, let's uh, start off with a dry dropper. Got my 10 foot four weight H3. Probably gonna fish 11 foot liter, a 2X. Uh, and 3x and 4x my first fly so nine foot 2x one foot of 3x one foot of 4x pretty much my huh what i always throw so let's go time to fish a refusal
need to pan the emerger. Man, what an incredible way to end the day. Fishing was fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite streams, but check out where I'm camping at night. Just driving down the road. Saw this little pull off. Said I would follow it. The first one was full of cows, so I kept going. And I came here and then was like, oh, I got to stop here tonight. This is absolutely, it's incredible. So definitely going to have a, uh, a beer. Enjoy the view. I have no plans for tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to fish the same stream again. Or I might go and, and check out some other places in, I had in mind. Um, I just know tonight I'm just going to hang around and look at that, that view. So today I was fishing my 10 foot 4 weight, uh, 9 foot 2x liter, about a foot of 3x, foot of 4x. And I was fishing uh, dry dropper most of the day. I was still in like a size 10 chubby, um, or my take of a chubby, something a little bit different. Um, and then probably two and a half feet below that, like a little beadhead caddis. Uh, the funny thing about the whole trip was I forgot all of my beadhead flies uh, in the truck. I unpacked a bunch of my stuff when I first got here, and I was fishing a smaller stream. I was just doing dry eyes and stuff like that and the mergers. So I took all my heavy stuff out, all my heavy you know, like stone flies and perdigans and all that kind of stuff. took all that stuff out, and I left it, including I was down to like, like a tenth of a... Uh, thing of uh dry fly juice so i uh i was hurting today but uh even with all that i still had you know had a fantastic day um throwing you know beadhead caddis to a uh my mayfly that i tied up for you guys several weeks ago um they were on the mayfly sometimes I put a little cdc puff behind it um fish it as a merger fished it both ways today um the fish were all over it uh found fish rising early caught some fish on dries um missed a, a couple too like it's always Always frustrating, but you know, it happens. So, but uh, overall, just a fantastic day. And not sure what's for dinner. I have no plans for that today, tonight. Um, got plenty of stuff in there, and I have plenty of food left over from the last couple of nights. Um, I think the only thing I have left in my cooler that I need to cook tonight is, um, or in the next couple of days, is like some turkey sausage, but it should last forever. So, my ice situation is pretty good, um, everything's working out well gonna sleep so somebody asked me earlier uh, how you sleep in a five and a half foot bed um, so this is like five foot nine 
And what I've done is my foot or my uh, clothes basket, it is the same height as my mattress. So all I do is I take my jacket or something and lay on top of there to soften it up. And then I just kind of sit, you know, sleep this way diagonal on it. And it gives me plenty of room to stretch out. So it's just under six foot and I'm just I'm like 5'10". So um, that right there has been my situation. This has worked out for me. Um, and I've been able to get away with uh, a slightly smaller bed. Um, I would love to have a six foot bed, but it just didn't happen this trip. So truck uh, is what I got and it's, it's working for me and I'm digging it and I don't have any, uh, I have no complaints, man. It's been a fantastic trip. The gravel roads are knocking some stuff around a little bit, but uh, everything's holding together, man. Time to, uh, time to sit down and have a beer and enjoy that view. I'd come out here and camp just for that.